This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. So we just created a differencing disk on server 01 using that temp drive 7 as the parent. Now let's say we have another graphic designer. They need the same fonts that are on temp drive 7, but they need to be able to modify their own copy of it. Well, I've got server 02 here. I'm just going to go ahead, go to settings. Now I could do this on a different virtual machine, or I could do it on the same virtual machine. In fact, let's do it on the same virtual machine here. Server 01, let's go to settings. And I'm going to go to SCSI controller. Let's go ahead and add a hard drive. Let's create a new. Next, another differencing disk. Click next. And I'm going to call this one temp drive 7-2. Click next. And select our parent. Our parent, again, is going to be temp drive 7. Click open. Click next. And finish. So now if we go here, we can see we've got our parent, which is temp drive 7 still. That'll never change. And then we have any changes written to this uh, disk are now going to be written to temp drive 7-2. So let's just click OK. Go to our virtual machine. I've already connected here, so we're on 701. We can see nothing's going to change with the E drive. Let's go to disk management. And we may need to rescan. Oh, there it is. There's the new disk we just connected. We can see 15 gigs in size. Let's go ahead and bring it online. It's going to give it the next drive letter in line, which is F. So let's go ahead and browse. There's our F drive. We can see it just has what was on the parent disk. And any changes I make to this F drive are going to be now written to our temp drive 7-2. So I didn't have to make multiple copies of the original fonts that all of our graphic designers needed. I just have the one copy and then any changes they make to it are written to their corresponding differencing disk. This is helpful in a lot of scenarios, especially with developers. They need databases. They all need this same set that's probably in production currently, and they're modifying that. But each developer needs their own copy of that because they're making their own modifications. Well, to make separate copies of it will take up a lot of disk space, but with differencing disks, we can only make one, we can make one copy of it, so it only takes up that amount of disk space. And then again, just the changes are written to these differencing disks, saving us a lot of disk space.